What is going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, and this is going to be on how to make an isometric couch. No, we made a bed already, right? Yeah, how to make an isometric couch, and it's actually pretty easy, it doesn't really involve much stuff. You can just change the colors, I'll just change that. Maybe this will make it look a little better. But, um, just really easy, it's like, nine objects, well ten if you want to include the ground. So... Basically what I'm going to do is just open Photoshop and just go from here, or not Photoshop, Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to start with uh, plain everything, like no foreground or anything, no plain. So what I'm going to do is just make a cube and then I'm going to drag this little top box thing down. And it's going to kind of flatten this a little bit, just you got to like go with your eye on this one. And then you're just gonna take this part and then bring it in. And this is this one is just how wide you want the couch to be. So that's good. And then you're gonna zoom in. And then you're gonna make a box. Click this tool, the scaling tool, and make it a lot smaller, about seven percent ish, roughly. And then you'll just bring it down. And I'm just gonna shrink that a little more. Alright, and then as soon as I'm going to zoom in really far, and then just bring this down. And this is going to be like the, not, not the stilts, but like the little blocks you see on a lot of couches that like hold them up. Oops. And after that, you can just like render preview it and see how much you need to go in. And it doesn't need to be exactly flat, it can have like a little, little mess ups. So then you just drag it over to the corner. And the corner should be pretty much right on. I don't see a way to mess up this. Except for I'm doing it right now. off a little bit all right the little bit doesn't really matter and then you're just gonna take the cube you can actually bring it up a little bit so it's not so big control oops control C control V and then bring it to the other corner and you can just go to this side and go from the angle on this and it's gonna be a little off as I said and if that little bo point bothers you you can go to here or this your oops. your oh, X and then just bring it down like point one and that should fix a little bit of it. Alright and then you're gonna just duplicate these so control C control V both of those and bring them all the way to this corner. Oops. And then you just kind of Size them. And the back one doesn't really matter that much, you can't see it, but so. Uh, okay. That's fine. A little part is fine. Alright, so now that you have that, you can start going building into the couch. And you guys can add color now or later, I'm just gonna do it later. So, what you can do now is just make. Oops. Don't make another thing. Take this and duplicate it, and then kind of squish it in a. Oops. Squish it in a bit with mm, this tool. Got like that. Bring it up with the arrows, and then bring this up. And this is gonna be the actual cushion of the couch so like that and then you can bring it out a little wider actually bring it out to the where like the these parts come oh, that's just guessing and then you can make it a little tinier and then duplicate it and 
bring this closer and over here. And then raise it. Not a lot, but enough. skinnier and then you can just duplicate it and do it to the bring it to the other side and do it too all right and then you're just gonna duplicate this shrink that as well raise it make sure you shrink it so it fits And then just mess with this size. This size pretty much doesn't really do that much, but makes the couch look nicer. Lower it. You render preview whenever you'd like. Let's see. So. Like that. And then what you can do from here is just start adding color. So you can do anything you want, like you can make the little cushions that color and make the rest like a brown to make it resemble wood. And then you can make a plane and bring it down. And you can just add any texture I want on the floor to see what it looks like. So just a basic isometric couch that it's really easy to do but uh yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna be doing more isometric stuff i think now since i can actually make like rooms and i think i'll go with like a table next or something and then i'll build everything and then i'll put them all into a uh into a room with you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this make sure to like comment subscribe it's really easy it only took seven minutes but uh i really hope you guys enjoyed this so yeah thank you guys for almost 1800 and i'll see you in my next video peace out